Is it better to leave a computer on 24-7 or should you turn it off when you're done with it? It's a very common question and you get a different answer depending on who you ask. Well, I'm going to tell you, as a real professional working technician with more than 27 years of experience in the industry, an author from McGraw-Hill, an educator in the school system, as well as a radio show host of a nationwide radio talk show on technology, consider the source. And what I'm telling you is, in my personal experience, computers that are left on 24-7 are less likely to experience problems than computers that are powered on and off, with one exception being portable computers. The airflow in portable computers is not ideal and they should never be left on 24-7. But a desktop standard computer, if you leave it on 24-7, you will, in my experience, rarely have a hardware problem with it. Now, you can't guarantee that there's some way to avoid all problems all the time, but you can put the statistics in your favor. And for an example, there's a light bulb that's more than 100 years old. It's been burning every single day. They never turn that light bulb off. What does that tell you? It's not just me. Electricity cost is very minimal. Don't put your computer to sleep and don't put it in hibernate. You're effectively turning it off. Let your computer's monitor go to sleep. That's fine. Sleep and hibernation are intended for laptops and portable devices to uh, extend and maintain the battery life as long as possible. But a desktop computer that's plugged into the wall is sipping power. The computers today use very little power compared to computers of yesteryear. If you're a customer of mine and you're paying me for my advice, my advice to you is if you want to save the most amount of money, keep your computer on. You'll need to restart it every few days. That's fine. But avoid powering it off and back on again. Thank you for watching this new quick tip series of videos and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, you can let me know by clicking the thumbs up button below the video. And if you want to be alerted anytime new content is posted to my channel, be sure and click the subscribe button. After that, you'll see a little bell icon up here. Be sure and click the bell icon and make sure that the notification button is checked and how you want to be notified. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Until then, bye for now.